Kadumpa kunpa yia moka paata. Ona nai kachu. Ingin kuno ba muli rachi kun tong na bunsha nyonyang. Kapa bol pa muli kamana. Ichuta yun patisa inba ni chalora kun. Oh. Kipuna! Kava tumpa kulpa yia moka paata! Chiyoka ku tumpa kulpa yia! Kawanabata, are you at? 
Tak wa tanki bora. Ra bodan ni wi. What? Yes? What? What? On it. What? It's open. Kipuna! Kava tumpa kulpaiya moka paata! Chiyoka ku tumpa kulpaiya! Kava tumpa kulpaiya moka paata! Bona night kachu! Yin kin kunoba muli rachi kun! Tong na punja nyunyang! Kava volpa mulchi kamana! You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Kavadumpa <laughs> 
Gin kin kuno ba muli rachi kun tong na punsha nyonyang. Kava vol pa mulji kamana. Ronda di hotonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tong king ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kun ne mule rabes. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu Rana no Prata don't know Sarcha it you a penki What on a wamamulira Ken Jun Jupa Shak no bully muli raji Junitun Durji Chiwi Itado Bola una dichek Balamure Slimo Wanga kun bisching I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Chiwi Aita Katong Chicha. Agi inko tune kuna muli ra tangi wama chiko na tong kipa non kunek abog kio kaku kinba muli ra tuana ji kuyami juski chika nai uba baska tuana chichopa muska chiska da soki kupa bona na chaju. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just kronki to pets nemo chi ita kanki chana kilikon kinba muli ra tuana ji. That's the plan. Oh! 
What? right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Bad luck for you that you picked my apartment then. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. <laughs>
You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? Maybe so. But this door is locked, and it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the hidden backs. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Vulcan Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulkers or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden becks are watching you. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelroot. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. If you're ever looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the Upper Cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. Go away. Kimba Kavatumpa kupalea muka bata. Jiyoka kutumpa kupalea. Two. Jiyoka ku. Kimba muli rabwana ji. Kuyami juski chika nai. Uba baska dwana chichopa muska. Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu. Tune pudu. Rananu prata dunko shirkasha. Jum da pike. Three. Go away. One. Smart. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Kuyami juski chika nai. Tong patoga smak tilia. Da beast you bong kunki punk pa. Tony duama ji human ak un ikatune. Who you calling little girl, tuba face? Uba batu konchi. She's got a soki kupa bona na chachu. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. Kiyokaku! Kimba muli rab wana ji! Kuyami juski chika nai! Uba baska dwana chichopa muska! Jiska da soki kupa bona na chachu! You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, 
I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Kyubasa! Kimba muli rag wana ji! Kaba volpa murji guma ya! Say, I don't recognize you and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sorta of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Ikinkunobamulera <laughs> Chuta, Wonga kun be stulpi kikuyana. Dong patugas bakelia. Kavadumpa kapalia monapata. Bona nakachu. Ying kin kun no ba mule rachi kun. Tong nabun shanu yang. Ti un pardo punta krita. Ak ti kondo una chabachisa wanki. Ti toki grantu kon chi chan kun green kanchan tu pro bok wala no bok cha ni chi kon chuva kin lota ita kun. We team and bone rank thong muli ra on shattering um ni patoka wanga chan zi te ika krotu haku jije patu yama kama wuna henak neck. Kin kun shi kakchin awana wamata ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji ching pala niska mule tun rata tigin pot dranko the search at doma wana kunda tama randi i chawa tong bola johnny ku yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shi chin ta kung ju stak miki grabble moko kachichu ita bodunga tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut Pogesha punka bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo poda da nanga kumbis mule rabes. Runda di hotonga kun hanka ni. Wana kun bez ching bala mule tunking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatu kun de mule rabes. Genchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wana henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Tong abuk shami no nok, bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon, tong kiba nukunek, tong abuk sha um nak nong. Yami 
Jesus Jinkata na patoga ya fulki goko gala jiji ga wana bot atagwa kegi dora te kun wata te mona ia bola kun shi kakchin awana wamata ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji ching pala niska mule tun rata ti kin pot dranko de sarcha doma wana kun tama Just chica don pata casa punga, <laughs> mucha hotunga yo luke ke. <laughs> ta kung just ta miki grabble moglo, kachichu ita botunga. Tolo bank wale oganda na u chuchut. Mogi sha punga bola wana chikne. Pa mule slimo puta da na ga kubist mule rabes. Kava don pa kapalia mona pata bona na kachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun sha nu yang kipuna bona na kichu kin ba mule radwana tong kin ba no kunok nek kava numpa kun pialia monokata ranga kun bis kin no morwat ka kin cha na kwana po kon Chan shak bulara, umrao chiska duchi, on chuban jiska yanki, titoke gratun kum chicha kum king kacha chonobra, bogra wala ni tumba cha, ne chichuna chuba ching, lorda itaku. Kipuna, bona na kichu, king ba mule radwana, don king ba no kudnok nek, kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat, ka kin chan na kwana po kon. Ki puna na bon sha, kava dumpa ku paliaya moka pata, pudu, tuni rama na praka donko tsercha, chupa panki. Ki puna! Ona na kacho, kimba mule ratwana, ta upa po tenya ko chocho piti. Ta watum pa kulpa hiya mo kata, wanga kumbis, kimba mule ra. Ta kincha na kokba kon, ta watum pa kulpa hiya po tenya, ta chicho na isa hodunga, ta ukum justak mike grabli moga. Tutpa da vunkwa ea gando da naga chuchut. Moga sham pumpa, bolla wana chikni. Ba mul slimo po da na wanga kumbis, muli radest. Rundi hau tunga tonki ma man kumkek. Wana kumbis, chimpa ya mui, kun hunkabi. Tuk min tanjo, kun me muli radest. Manawis, tungjon ya hakono. Mula yun nase, chiching wibigwan na itawis muli na bumi uba na tulaboda yamijusa. Ayono bis tulaji yoka ko. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of the victims. Tumira na no prata tunkyo, sercha toma toma. Kawawe pa mulje, kumana. Kim kon shashi ken, ne ken kon no wa mule raje kun. Wana kumbes, chimpaya muli. Tumira na no prata tunkyo. Okay, I don't know about Devik's special contracts. Justice is one thing. 
But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Chimek, 
see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Really? Huh. I guess that's it then. A real shame it had to come to this. She was a good-looking gal despite her temper. Ah well. Plenty more ladies out there for me. If you want to collect the bounty, go talk to Zax. I gave him the credits for safekeeping. As far as I'm concerned, my part in this is over. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. Thank <laughs> you. 
What? Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gat? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Valkyr spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulkers won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulkers, and that's okay in my book. The Vulkers stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulkers found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulkers aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Normally, the Vulkers would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulker base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulker scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the Lower City. He's offered her up as the Vulkers' share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila, then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. You're in no position to bargain here. Without my help, you don't have a hope of getting this Bastila back. You should at least listen to what I have to say. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you will win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back.
My word is my bond. Everybody in the lower city knows my reputation. Besides, you really don't have a choice. I'm your only ticket into the swoop race. Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Volker base, it's her. Don't underestimate Mission or her Wookiee friend Zalbar. They're a formidable pair. Tough enough to go exploring the Undercity by themselves. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. The disguise won't help you get into the Undercity. Besides, Soon the Sith will realize they've got a few too many uniforms missing, and the only way to get around will be the security papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Pretty snappy with the orders, are we? Okay, you got it, sir. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. I'm just trying to figure it out. I saw enough men lose their lives needlessly during the Mandalorian Wars. It's difficult to see that happen all over again. We lost the ship and a lot of good people, and for what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway, it got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Not at all, I just think it's a bit odd that someone who got added to the crew roster at the last minute just happens to be one of the survivors.
No? Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not gonna discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right, you're pretty damn tenacious, you know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll! Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I... I suppose our world doesn't look like much to you. It's dark and cold and lonely down here, but... This is the only world I've ever known. I've never been to the surface, but... Sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars... It all sounds so... So... So wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Of course, I'm sorry. You're probably here for something important, right? You probably want to speak to Gendar. He's the leader of our village. But if you... if you have time later, maybe you could come back and speak to me again. I don't get much chance to talk with people from the surface. 